So the question is, how many functions are possible from set D into any non-empty subset of R? So in case of a function, we are allowed to assign only one volume to each element of the domain. To one, we can assign either A or B or C or D or E. So that's five possibilities. And then what about two? And it's literally the same story. We can assign to it either A or B or C or D or E. Similarly, with number three, we multiply these, these three. Okay, now the question is the same, but this time we need to count the one-to-one -one functions. A function is one-to-one -one if two different values of the domain are not allowed to get the same thing assigned to them. In other words, all elements of the domain sort of have their own element in the range. What that means is after we made our choice for what we're going to assign to, to the number one in the domain, when we move on to two, we no longer have all five options. We don't know what was selected to be assigned to one, but whatever that letter is, we can no longer use it because the function is one to one. So we're down to four choices. And then next, when we decide what to assign to three, now we're down to three options. So 60 such functions are possible. Now for the fun stuff, how many relations are possible given this setup? Let's see. What can we assign to A? And the problem is now, is that in case of relations, multiple values are allowed. So to one, not only we can assign A, B, C, D, E, but we can also assign A and B, A and C, right? These are all allowed. Just to figure out what happens to one is a combinatorial question in itself. So what are we counting here? These, and then what if we would be listing A, B, and A, C, and then what's next, A, D, what are we counting when we go A, B, A, C, A, D, A, E? We're counting subsets. To one, we can assign either just one letter, but we can also assign any subset where almost any subset is good for the list of elements assigned to one. R has five elements. That means that R has 32 subsets, but we have to be very careful because one thing that is not allowed is the empty set. One is in the domain, that means that something was assigned to one. So every, every subset is okay, except for the empty set. And that gives us 31 subsets. So going back to our number one, we can assign to, to one the contents of any non-empty subset of R, which is 31 many. And then what's the deal with, with number two? What can we assign to number two? And the answer is the same story and the same with number three. That is the number of relations possible from this set into that set. So that means that we have 31 to the third power or 29,791. That's a lot of relations. Thank you for watching.